Copenhagen, the city of spires, is the picture-perfect capital of Denmark. Its name means Merchant Harbor, and today, Copenhagen is brimming with classical Scandinavian architecture, as well as cutting-edge contemporary designs. Join Built, the Blue Bean blog, as we discover five of Copenhagen's iconic buildings. The Copenhagen Opera House rises from the harbor in a massive neo-futuristic style. Completed in 2004 by architect Henning Larsen, is home to the Royal Danish Theatre and contains 1,492 seats, all individually angled to provide the best audio and visual experience. Acoustic tests were an integral part of the construction process, with great consideration given to the geometry of the stage and pit areas. Large glazing panels on the front of the structure were meant to make the interior auditorium viewable from the harbor. The glass did not age well, however, and much to the chagrin of Larsen, they were eventually changed to a metal grid. Winding back 400 years, the Round Tower, or Runeton, was one of the many architectural products of Christian IV of Denmark. It was designed by Hans van Steenwinkel in the 17th century as an astronomical observatory, which was an area of increasing study because of naval navigation. Built of masonry with alternating yellow and red bricks, its style is often referred to as Dutch classicism. Inside, the tower has a giant ramping equestrian staircase, which is large enough to ride horses through. Today, it serves as a concert and exhibition hall with incredible views of all of Copenhagen. Now we move from an old age brick tower to the ultra contemporary Axel Towers, recently completed by Lundgo and Tranberg. The seven year project houses co working spaces with ground level shops, restaurants, and a raised garden open to the public. The architects wanted to differentiate the building from the surrounding rectangular structures by creating welcoming circular shapes with broad staircases, inviting the public to experience all of it. The metallic brown facade blends into the overall color scheme of Copenhagen and shelters the buildings from the strong wind that typically surrounds large structures. When people think Danish modern, this is it. Frederick's Church, also known as the Marble Church, has an architectural story of ruin and redemption. It was designed by Nikolai Eichtville in the 1740s in the Rococo style. Inspired by St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, the dome was to be the largest in Scandinavia, at a span of 31 meters. Construction was slowed by budget cuts, however, and after the death of the architect in 1744, it stopped completely. Frederick's church was left standing as a ruin for nearly 150 years. The church was then saved by Denmark's finance minister, and sold to be developed in 1874. It had to be finished in limestone instead of marble due to cost, but it shines today as a beautiful Lutheran church. The Royal Danish Library Black Diamond Building looks like a structure from the near future. It's among the largest libraries in the world and contains copies of all works printed in Denmark since the 17th century. Designed by architects Smith, Hammer and Lassen, it gets its name from an outside cover of black marble and glass. A broad glazed crevasse cleaves the facade in two, letting natural light into the central atrium. The modern building connects seamlessly to old historical buildings via several skyway bridges. With the library operating continuously since 1648, the black diamond edition is what happens when architects make bold choices about how to mix modern design with the classics. Modern Copenhagen is known as the happiest city in the world, and it's easy to see how architecture fits into this community-oriented place. If you ever get the chance to visit, be sure to check out not just these five, but the dozens of enchanting structures the city offers. If you like the video and want to see more, in addition to Blue Beam video resources, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.